गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सूर्य मीनाक्षी फ्रॉम विशाखा आई हॉस्पिटल सो ट्वेंटी सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड मेल पेशेंट हुई इज़ अ रेसिडेंट ऑफ आरको केम विद द कम्प्लेंट ऑफ ब्लडिंग ऑफ विजन इन बोथ द आईज फॉर पास्ट वन मंथ ही वॉज अपरेंटली नॉर्मल वन मंथ बैक एंड अब्जर्व ग्रेजुअल पेनलेस प्रोग्रेसिव ब्लडिंग ऑफ विजन फॉर बोथ डिस्टेंस एंड नियर विजन विथ नो अदर सिग्निफिकेंट हिस्ट्री हिज पास्ट हिस्ट्री एंड एवरी थिंग इज़ नॉर्मल हिज फैमिली हिस्ट्री इज़ नॉर्मल पर्सनल हिस्ट्री पेशेंट अकेजनली स्मोक्स एंड ही गिवस हिस्ट्री ऑफ बिंज देसी एल्कोहल कंजम्पन फॉर पास्ट फाइव ईयर्स एंड ही ऑल्सो गिवस हिस्ट्री ऑफ कैनाबिस इनटेक फॉर द पास्ट वन ईयर हिज जनरल एग्जामिनेशन इज नॉर्मल वाइटल्स आर नॉर्मल एंड हिज सिस्टमिक एग्जामिनेशन ऑक्यर एग्जामिनेशन इज नॉर्मल सो वैन इट कम्स टू विजुअल एक्यूटी हिज बेस्ट करेक्टेड विजुअल एक्यूटी वॉज सिक्स बाई सिक्सटी विथ नो इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द पिन होल एंड बेस्ट करेक्टेड नियर विजुअल एक्यूटी इज एन एटीन इन बोथ द आईज His anterior segment examination is normal, except that the pupil was uh, sluggishly reacting to light, and uh, on Ishihara chart he was able to read only the control plate. So the fundus examination uh, here uh, we can see that uh, the uh, disc is normal in size and shape, but in both the eyes there is a mild temporal uh, paler, and in the left eye we can see there is a uh, hemorrhage noted in the supra temporal uh, quadrant, with uh, the rest of the picture being uh, normal. based on this uh, we came to a provisional diagnosis of uh, toxic amaurosis in both the eyes and the differential diagnosis uh, likely to be is a nutritional optic neuropathy lesions of optic chiasma bilateral demyelinating optic neuropathy leber's hereditary optic neuropathy cortical blindness and malingering the investigations done were uh, visual field uh, testing 30-2 Uh, SS OCT macula, OCT angiography, and uh, visual evoker potential. So this is the single field uh, central 30-2 visual field uh, testing, uh, which is uh, which shows grossly depressed uh, visual fields in uh, both the eyes, and the OCT uh, macula is normal, suggesting that there is no macular pathology. And we have done OCT angiography as we have seen a hemorrhage, and there is no clinical acuity noted. This is the uh, uh, pattern reversal uh, visual. evoker potential where we can see that the latency is near normal but whereas the amplitude has been reduced in both the eyes so our plan was to counsel the patient to avoid alcohol and cannabis intake and to visit de addiction center for attaining total abstinence of these two substances and to provide visual rehabilitation by using low vision aids and we advised uh, uh, b complex uh, for 3 months to consult a neurophysician to rule out any intracranial pathology and to review back and to be on regular follow up uh, for every 3 months so the neurologist has advised uh, mri brain and the orbit and which is uh, normal with no significant abnormality detected in the neuroparenchyma so based on this uh, we came to a final diagnosis of uh, toxic amaurosis due to chronic substance abuse so this coming to discussion uh, toxic optic neuropathy it is due to visual impairment of the optic nerve caused by toxins which is bilateral symmetric vision loss papillomacular bundle damage with central or centrosecal scotoma and reduced color vision so these are the some of the agents which cause toxic optic neuropathy and uh, this is mainly caused because of the accumulation of the formic acid over time which inhibits the electron transport and mitochondrial function which results in impaired axonal transport and it leads to release of free radicals which will result in retinal ganglion cell death in our study the patient also takes cannabis along with alcohol so there are various studies which says that cannabinoids they are neuroprotective and anti glaucomatous but there are some studies which says that cannabis intake can decrease the systemic blood pressure and this would reduce the blood flow to the optic nerve and it can result in optic neuropathy and the investigations uh, we have uh, uh, done complete investigations which include complete blood picture uh, mri of the optic nerve uh, chiasma and without gadolinium contrast and we have e uh, vep oct and these are various strategies for evaluating bilateral visual loss so the management depends on the causative factor and in alcohol induced optic neuropathy complete abstinence of alcohol with vitamin supplementation is the main therapy and specific therapy includes uh, giving uh, oral thiamine tablets folate and multivitamins in case of vitamin b12 deficiency we have to give uh, uh, vitamin uh, b12 injections which is 1000 micrograms of uh, methylcobalamin every uh, daily until the symptoms are improved thereby that we can improve the uh, we can reduce the dosage and in case of acute methanol poisoning we give uh, pomeprazole or ethanol 
Along with that, in, uh, there are also studies which says that IV methyl prednisolone uh, would salvage vision in case of methanol poisoning. So recent studies also says that intravitreal methyl prednisolone with erythropoietin uh, would improve uh, the condition of the patient. Take home messages, toxic optic neuropathy should always be excluded whenever the patient presents with bilateral vision loss with history of intoxication. Identifying the causative agent and avoidance of the agent would help in reducing the complications. Well-balanced diet along with multivitamin therapy will help in improving the symptoms. Regular counseling of the patient, visual rehabilitation and de-addiction therapy uh, with regular follow-up will help in improving the overall condition of the patient. So these are the references. Thank you. Thank you. Good presentation. Yes. What was the outcome in this patient after management? Sir, uh, we actually, after seeing the patient, we have sent him to the neurologist, sir, because to rule out any intracranial pathology. And we asked him to review back, but okay. unfortunately, we have lost the follow-up and the patient is not at all responding to, uh, in spite of repeated calls also. So because you advise him uh, abstinence. Yes. <laughs> okay.